In tonight's ABC 7 Salutes, we meet a retired military pilot whose life completely changed after suffering an injury that left him a paraplegic. Despite facing the challenge of a lifetime, he has remained unstoppable, and thanks to him, other paralyzed pilots have the possibility to fly again, but his ultimate goal is to save lives. Our Marco de Robles has the story. You can see there's another control module on the top. Captain Stuart McQuillan, veteran of the Royal and U.S. Air Force, is no ordinary pilot. You can see he's paralyzed, bound to a wheelchair, but for years it hasn't kept him on the ground. Not only does he still fly, he built the only FAA-approved device to enable other paralyzed vets, first responders, or simply aspiring pilots to do the same. You think you, your life's over. You know, all I know is how to fly. What am I going to do? He was in Anaheim for the recent Heli Expo to show it all off. So whatever I do with my thumb, the pedals will match it. There's a quick connector that goes to the pedal and it holds the leg on the pedal. It's a little bit like going from a bicycle to a unicycle. So once you master it, you pretty much got it for life, you know? Captain McQuillan uses the helicopter to train fellow paraplegic pilots. It's just a wheelchair. It's a prosthetic limb. That's it. You're still the same person underneath. One of his goals is to help redirect emotions of panic, depression, and suicide. He's part of the NV3 Foundation alongside Kristen Christie, co-creator of the 988 Veterans Crisis Line. You know, I unfortunately lost my first husband to suicide after a deployment in the Air Force. And so I understand uh, what families go through in the aftermath. The boys have struggled the most uh, after their dad's suicide. Both of them attempted. Research indicates that is more likely for those who have lost a loved one to suicide are more likely to attempt. My oldest son has been missing for over eight and a half years. Knowing that incredible pain, there's more that she and McQuillan want to do, and they just received a generous donation to help the cause. We are trying to raise $60,000 because we've just been offered two helicopters. Their message? It is never too late to find new avenues for your talents. It's not the end, you know? All you've got to do is find us, and we'll try to help you, whether you're military or civil. We'll, we'll get you going again. You ha do have a future. Hello, I'm Mark Brown. Get more great ABC7 content by clicking the subscribe button for our YouTube channel. And download the ABC7 Los Angeles streaming app on Fire TV, Android TV, Apple TV, and Roku to watch on your TV.